Hi everyone, there are thousands of tomato varieties bred all over the world and of course among them we want to find the varieties that will be able to surprise us most. In this review I want to show you those exotic tomato varieties that are remembered most and were able to impress not only by their appearance but also by rich tomato flavor. One of the first which pleased me not only with the early yield but also with the stunning look is a variety called Berkeley tie-dye pink. An indeterminate variety by the breeder from California, Brad Gates, who gave gardeners such masterpieces as Brad's Atomic Grape, Crushed Heart, Barry's Crazy Cherry and dozens of other varieties. But Berkeley tie-dye pink I would like to highlight especially because they are incredibly beautiful tomatoes, dark cherry color, by the way it is described as the color of port wine, with green stripes that have a surprisingly unusual metallic tint. Absolutely one of the most beautiful tomatoes I've ever grown. Despite the fact that Berkeley tie-dye pink was bred in a fairly southern region, it felt great in the conditions of Central Europe. In terms of ripening, it is designated as early or mid-early, which is a particular advantage for such an exotic tomato. The tomatoes themselves are a beefsteak type, dense and well stored, the color of the slice is beautiful, with a little greenness inside. The fruits have a very rich tomato flavor, especially when you consider the fact that the tomatoes began to ripen along with the earliest ones. I read some reviews of this tomato from gardeners and can say that Berkeley tie-dye pink has literally blown away all the tomato forums and immediately conquered everyone who grew it. By the way, in the United States, as a result of taste tests, where it was in competition with a Cherokee purple tomato, which is deservedly considered one of the most delicious tomatoes in the world, just a standard of tomato flavor, I also grew it and completely agree with this statement. Just look at the slice of this tomato and much will become clear. In most cases, people gave their preference to Berkeley tie-dye pink, and it's not easy at all to defeat such a powerful competitor as a Cherokee purple. This tomato is good for farmers to grow them for sale and for amateur gardeners. And it's hard to disagree with this, because I personally like the Berkeley tie-dye pink very much in all aspects, and it's a must-have tomato for any collection. Another variety that I like this season is the Plan 9 from Outer Space Tomato. The variety Plan 9 from Outer Space gets its name from the well-known American movie made in the middle of 20th century. The movie itself is considered to be so bad that it has even become a real classic. They still show it to filmmaking students to explain how not to make movies. Although the tomato is named after a very unfortunate movie, it has nothing to do with the failure except for the name. This is a high-growing, medium-ripening variety, in my case easily grew 2 meters long by early August, the color is yellow and orange with red stripes. I slightly fell short up to the stated 300 grams, but in my case they also cannot be called small. The flesh, like the fruit itself, has a yellow and orange color with a few seeds. The tomatoes themselves are delicious, sweet with a touch of soreness. This is definitely the real decoration for the greenhouse and for the table. By the way, according to the plot of the movie, the aliens wanted to invade the Earth, but they did not succeed. But the Plan 9 from Outer Space Tomato managed to win my approval, and this variety deservedly takes its place in this review. Of course, I can't ignore the next tomato, a short, sturdy one that was able to surprise me with its taste just at the beginning of the season. The Adelaide Festival is a dwarf variety from the Dwarf Tomato Project, with strong stems and big leaves, about one meter tall, sturdy like many dwarfs. I call such varieties mushrooms from the world of tomatoes. Adelaide Festival fruits are bright purple with green streaks that turn olive gold when ripe. The tomato originated in Australia and is named after the Adelaide Arts Festival. The breeder liked the fireworks dedicated to the festival so much that she decided to name the tomato after it. And it is really something similar to the sparks of fireworks when you look at the fruits. The variety tolerated the heat well and when planting in the greenhouse only at the end of May, I was able to taste the first fruits in July. 
Tomatoes are declared up to 300 grams, but I had larger ones, so the plant must be tied up to keep them upright. In general, it is great when such a not tall plant is capable of producing rather large beef tomatoes. You can grow it both in a greenhouse or outside, on a balcony or even in the pots. As you can see, it's very convenient. The Adelaide festival was bred as a cross of dwarf Rosella purple with the aforementioned Berkeley tie-dye pink variety. So it's no surprise at all that it tasted great. Harmony of sweetness and little acidity. Dwarf Adelaide Festival is my strong recommendation for those who haven't grown it yet, as well as for those who want to pay their attention to the tomatoes from the Dwarf Tomato Project. I can surely include it in the list of the most delicious dwarfs I've ever grown. Another discovery for me was the tomato called Wild Thyme. According to the description, the tomatoes have green, amber and pink colors, and that is exactly what I got. When full ripe, it also gets a brownish tint, Fruits are flat in shape with thin skin and cannot be stored for a long time when ripe, but I think you will not keep them for long. The first tomato was just delicious, but later the taste opened up even more. And now I understand that Wild Thyme is definitely one of the sweetest tomatoes in my collection. In terms of sweetness, for example, it may well compete with such proven varieties as Swamp or Black Pineapple. And to the letter named, it is also very similar in appearance. For a salad, it is a treasure for sure. The flavor is very deep and rich. Many people describe it as an outstanding and I will not argue with this statement, as it was a pleasure to try it. Also a beautiful slicer with an attractive olive color inside and a pink spot in the center. Wild Thyme definitely has earned my admiration both in appearance and with its lovely tomato flavor. Now let's focus on one of the top favorites of this year without any doubts. This is the Berkeley Tie Dye Hard Tomato. Another masterpiece from Brad Gates, the result of a mutation of the Berkeley Tie Dye variety in which the tomatoes are heart shaped. The powerful tall plant produces exceptionally big fruits and I liked very much how they look like. The tomatoes are deep red with green stripes and the metallic tint is also present. The variety is medium ripening and productive. Tomatoes can reach a weight of 600 grams, but my largest was 368. And just as in the case of Berkeley Tie Dye Pink, Berkeley Tie Dye Hard Tomatoes just amazed me with their flavor. Upon making the first cut, I found a rich dark cherry color inside with greenness and it was immediately clear that I was in for something very good. And the taste really exceeded my wildest expectations. Sweet and explosive, fruity with a pleasant acidity. Exactly what the taste of a real homemade tomato should be. Four factors converged for me in this variety. High yield, large fruits, appearance and wonderful flavor. It's unlikely that any of the finest restaurants will be able to offer you these tomatoes and so the best way to try Berkeley tie-dye hard tomatoes is to grow them ourselves. The tomato stays in my collection forever and I consider it a real gem from the world of tomatoes. Let's move on to another large fruited exotic variety called absinthe. In addition to being green fruited, this tomato has an outstanding history because it is a cross of Aunt Ruby's German Green, Brandywine and Emerald. The plant is tall and very sturdy. The fruits are exceptionally large. In my case, I haven't got small fruits at all. Now I understand why it is considered one of the largest among the green varieties. And certainly the fans of green tomatoes will like them, although I know that not everyone likes the varieties of such colors, but they have their own fans and perhaps I can include myself among their number. When ripe, the tomatoes remain green, the color fades a bit, and at the same time yellow, olive and even slightly pinkish tints appear. Pink touches are also present in the slice. Absinthe's flavor is decent, harmonious and refreshing. This is another great tomato for salads and my green tomatoes go into the salad most of the time, adding extra color to it. That's why I set aside some place every year just for these varieties. And another delicious tomato that few people have heard of yet, but it definitely deserves more fame. 
And yes, this is another variety from the Dwarf Tomato Project. It is called Fred's tie-dye. Among the dwarfs, it is still considered quite tall and came as the result of crossing two very delicious varieties, Berkeley tie-dye pink and the wild Fred Dwarf Tomato which have grown and this is another tomato with amazing flavor. Fred's tie-dye turned out to be a very fruitful dwarf, the supports to which I tied him could barely carry the weight of the plant and I had to strengthen them over and over again. As with the Adelaide Festival tomato, the tomatoes are large, especially for this type of plant, and the same rich dark cherry color with golden and green stripes. In addition to high yield, Fred's tie-dye tomato also showed excellent flavor. It can be included in the list of the most delicious varieties of the season as easily as saying that the sky is blue and the moon is the Earth's satellite. Harmonious in all aspects, beautiful and tasty Fred's tie-dye tomato. Don't be afraid to grow exotic tomatoes. Make experiments, discover something new for yourself. And remember, I grew all these varieties in far from the most favorable climate of Central Europe. Thanks for watching this review to the end. I wish you all good harvests and delicious tomatoes. This is the Lucky Garden channel and see you soon.